Hi, I'm Ann Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and we're here for Ward 5 and 10. Today is Thursday, December 20th, 2018, and we're getting ready for the holiday season. We want everyone to have a safe and happy holiday season. First of all, important news here. City Hall will be closed Monday, December 24th, and Tuesday, December 25th. Very important, should you have any business needing in the City Hall to, how would I say it, be prepared to do it on Wednesday, December 26th, or if you can slide in on the Friday the 21st before 4.30. Again, we want everybody to have a happy holiday, and a whole lot can happen in a short time weather-wise. Remember, we are in the winter parking ban. That means no parking on certain streets, on even side of the road, and being really cautious in a snow emergency, no parking on the streets at all. We need to get emergency vehicles on the streets, going up and down with what the plows, of course, fire engines, and ambulance is in particular. Everyone deserves to be safe, and I cannot emphasize that enough. I'm Ann Beauregard, Ward 5 City Councilor. I can be reached at A Beauregard, B E A U R E G A R D, at C O B M A dot U S, or 774 297 4939. So, this is information for everyone. But, uh, you know, we concentrate a lot on Ward 5. There is a notice of filing of public hearings that are going to be taking place this spring in Brockton on public utilities. Imagine that. They want to raise their rates. We're going to give you more information as it comes closer, but the designated day right now is Thursday, March 28, 2019, 7 p.m. at South Middle School. Okay? As it comes closer, we'll continue to announce that. We just want to make people uh, aware. Also, we know that some of our seniors might need help assistance with getting their driveway shoveled or their walkways, okay? We want to emphasize that Andrea Burton is overseeing this project, and you can um, give her a call at 508-897-6813 and find out about forms whether you qualify or, in fact, uh, if you want to fill out one online. This can assist those of you with um, some age challenges and some physical challenges um, if we get a particular a heavy a snowstorm and uh, be prepared to get out. Again, I'm Ian Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor. Uh, also, what services are in the city for those that are challenged financially or otherwise, whether it be for a food pantry or fuel assistance. And again, actually, Andrea Burton's not a bad person to call, 508-897-6813, and she can give you the phone number for the agency that can assist you, and I'd be happy to help you with that, too. Again, my name is Ann, and at 774-297-4939. Well, during this time off, some people might want to enjoy themselves, and after spending all that money on Santa gifts, you might uh, be a little uh, short on uh, funds and be looking for something free to do. Fuller Craft Museum is free to anyone in Brockton Tuesday through Sunday. Uh, with the exception of, of course, Christmas Day. So please feel free to go and visit them at 455 Oak Street. You're free if you live in Brockton. You just have to prove it. And that's easy enough to do with your license or um, a piece of mail or what have you. And there's so many activities going on, it's just a good time. Meanwhile, the library itself has a whole lot going on, whether it's free movies and performers. And again, that can take place December 26th through um, the, uh, you know, the weekend. And while you know, the kids are at home, the library's hours have increased at all three locations. Meanwhile, the library is in a project this year to do a plan for a five-year strategic uh, proposal. And you can email the library at pengel, which stands for Paul Engel, the director, E-N-G-L-E, 
at cobma.us, which stands for City of Brockton, Mass. US, and let them know what you'd like to see, um, what you don't want to see, etc. Because that has to be, uh, there will be more meetings on this, by the way, that anyone can attend, all ages, all backgrounds. And if you can't make the meeting, you can email and come up with the ideas. Now, we're always concerned with foreclosures, and we want to keep them at a zero, but certainly at a minimum. NeighborWorks has programs available. They're located on Legion Parkway, and they're open Monday through Friday, and they can assist you with some challenges or put you in the right direction. I cannot emphasize that enough. We did vote on our taxes for 2019, and we did see, again, an increase in value of the properties in this city. So though we did not increase the rate, you probably will see a little bit of a rise in your taxes because your value of your property. I cannot emphasize enough also that there are opportunities for abatements and I do hope to have a meeting in January, uh, weather permitting, and have someone speak briefly on abatements and exemptions and how you can find out through the assessor's office inside City Hall and get more details. And some of you that uh, want to go online and check it out. Once again, we're trying to help you any way we can. And uh, we realize some things are out of our control. The fact that suddenly houses are worth a whole lot more is good and also challenging. Again, I want to emphasize that I can be reached at aboregard at cobma.us. I do plan on having a ward meeting. I'm hoping to do it toward the end of January after everybody gets settled after the holidays and maybe the weather calms down. Again, the weather is a, a dictator. And one of them would be to discuss opportunities for abatements, et cetera. And the other is to discuss three intersections in Ward 5. There's more than that, but these particular, they're highlighting right now. Pine Street and Thatcher, Thatcher Street and Massasoit, and Pine Street and Summer. So there will be a presenter on that. And from Old Colony Planning Council, they're the experts, be able to talk to you, and you can you know, express your concerns, desires. And, and again, we encourage everyone to attend those meetings. Sometimes it works out, you have a class, or you happen to you know, need to stay later at your job, or what have you. You can email us the information, mail us, we can pick it up and, and get you know, an idea of what, where your concerns are. Okay, again, we want people to have a great, safe um, vacation. Want to emphasize it's all kinds of activities going on. And uh, also, we want to point out that, um, again, there will be more um, going on as the, you know, we, we kick off the new year. We want um, the schools will always have their announcements. They have also the text messaging, which I think is marvelous, to let people know when there isn't school due to a snow, uh, snowstorm or other snow emergency. Again, the winter parking ban is in effect, and as soon as the flakes come down, the snow emergency kicks off. You will hear announcements about that repeatedly. Want to encourage people to get involved more in uh, 2019. We'll be having various meetings to uh, let people know about volunteer opportunities. I happen to have one here. Uh, the Haven is a drop-in center for those that are lonely, need uh, help with, or just want to hang out. And it's located at 74 Pleasant Street, right next to Mount Moriah Baptist Church. And uh, you can give uh, people a call here on Nancy at 508-944-8673 or Corin Cappiello at 508-580-7123. And they can connect you up with opportunities to volunteer. They're always looking for someone that wants to teach a craft or do some artwork or some other game time and cards and what have you. And, uh, you know, especially in the winter months, people feel, uh, you know, more isolated and more alone. Don't forget to think about those that could be in need and let us know if we can reach out. Again, I'm Ian Borgat. I'm the Ward 5 City Council. We want to wish you a happy holiday season. I encourage you to get involved. There are still positions available on governing boards and commissions in this city. We are working on uh, 
uh, new projects for finding out about getting our roads paved. I know that's a, on many people's wish list. And I will see you next month, let you know when we're going to have a ward meeting. Thank you again, and Happy New Year.